2014, a very closeted Ivan writes, Today during break time he sat on the matric porch and ate, spoke about the usual things, girls, class, etc. Then someone asked, what would you do if your son was gay? Nobody answered at first, but then someone said something along the lines of, I'd beat the gay out of him. Queer, an umbrella term for sexual identities that are not heterosexual, includes gay, lesbian and bisexual. My name is Ivan Ferreira, um, I'm a third year Rhodes student. I'm studying a Bachelor of Fine Arts and I grew up in Grahamstown. I went to a local private school here in Grahamstown. Knowing that I was gay um, really changed a perspective of how um, I interacted with the spaces, especially my high school being a boys' school. Um, it was very interesting to see other people growing up um, knowing that they were straight. Heterosexuality, or being straight, is when one is attracted to people or persons of their opposite sex. Homophobia is often bred within the walls of high schools, especially since so many people are trying to come to terms with their sexuality. This is made even more difficult by hostile environments and attitudes from those in authority, such as teachers. I want to become a life orientation teacher because I had a really bad one um, from grade 8 on my trick. I mean, I'm bisexual myself and she said things like bisexuality doesn't exist, you're either gay or straight, which I found out later on when I figured out what my feelings towards other people were, that she's wrong, she's just homophobic a bit. The life orientation curriculum also needs to be transformed. Teachers need to have the correct training to stop homophobia and not to perpetuate these ideas themselves. There's a certain amount of ignorance that exists in, I think, all high schools, um, regardless of whether it's boys or girls schools, or private or public. Um, and I think that's because of lack of um, teaching and life orientation. Um, I recall from my, uh, my, my high school experience, the only sex ed we got was watching a movie like Juno where the main message is don't get pregnant or else um, and obviously stuff like use a condom if you're going to engage. Queer people are part of the varied fabric of South Africa, in our communities and within our schools. The rights and lives of queer people need to be protected. The problems with both the teachers and the curriculum because if you look at the textbook itself it doesn't even talk about certain queer identities. It leaves out key information, so clearly the curriculum designers themselves are leaving this information out, whether they're ignorant to it or they're being deliberately ignorant, because I've, I know people can be deliberately ignorant. The rainbow flag, which has become a symbol of the queer community, becomes ironic when it is compared with the idea of South Africa being the rainbow nation and the land of equality, especially when one in two lesbian or trans women have been sexually violated. I think the amount of ignorance is partly due to the fact that we didn't really have education on the topics of queer bodies and homosexuality and bisexuality. Why must I make such an effort to educate myself about my own sexuality when straight kids can turn on the TV and understand what it means to be straight? Why are we not teaching about queer bodies and experiences in our life orientation classes? Why does every person, history and story in our high school textbooks have to be straight washed?